Hi there, I'm Destiny from Loom. I'm going to walk you through recording a presentation. Because it can be impossible to get everyone's calendars to align, we either end up having to wait to share our valuable information, or we end up sharing it via email or Slack, where it can come across as confusing and we aren't really able to express ourselves. Recording our presentations instead can eliminate these problems. It can help us save time, and it can ensure the delivery is exactly how we planned it. This is why I choose to use Loom to record my presentations, and it also allows my teammates to watch on their own time. In this short video, I'll be going over setting up your recorder, recording your Google Slides and Keynote presentations, tips while recording, and once your presentation is complete, how to share your video. If your presentation is on Google Slides, you can either use the Chrome extension or the desktop app. Here, I'll be showing you with the Chrome extension. You'll want to have your presentation on the screen and then launch the recorder. You'll select which screen you want to show and choose to share. During the countdown is a great time to collect your thoughts. And if you prefer a cleaner look, you can hide the menu by selecting these three dots. And of course, you can move your cam bubble also. When you go to present, if you would like to have your notes available on a different monitor, you can choose presenter view. If not, you can select present. And now you can click through your slides while recording your presentation. If your presentation is on PowerPoint, Keynote, Pitch, or Canva, we suggest using the desktop app. I'll be using Pitch in this example. To set this up, open your presentation and then launch the desktop recorder in full screen mode. You can start your recording and then press play and begin your presentation. Don't worry if you have a couple of seconds of setup, you can always trim this out after you're done recording the video. You'll wanna give your presentation as if you would to a live audience or via Zoom. Try to make eye contact with the camera. This can certainly feel uncomfortable at the start, but it does make a big difference to your viewers. If you need a moment to gather your thoughts, you can pause via your controls on the left. If you happen to make a mistake in the first few moments, I find the restart button to be a lifesaver. Once you've finished your presentation, we suggest adding a title. You can do so here. We also suggest trimming the beginning and the end of the video to help give it a more polished finish. From the menu on the right, you can also review the transcript, adjust your video preferences, and add a call to action or a custom thumbnail. To share the video, you can simply click to copy the link here, or for more sharing options, click the blue share button. Sharing your presentation via Loom democratizes who gets the microphone. It also means that the time you spend synchronously is used more efficiently for two-way discussion. If you have a number of videos to record, you can use the call to action buttons to link the videos together to create a chain of bite-sized videos. In case this is the first time you're sending a presentation over Loom, it can be a little daunting being on camera, but we promise it gets easier. Here are a few tips that have helped me. Slow down. The viewer can always speed you up to 2x when watching. Include the human moment. If your dog barks, don't worry. Minimize recording distractions. Turn on do not disturb. Look at the camera as much as possible and move your camera bubble around so it doesn't get in the way of the content you are sharing. I hope this has been helpful. We're looking forward to hearing how you're using Loom. Thanks for watching.